Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a five things you didn't know about me tag. I was tagged by the lovely Sammy Dudley and I will link her channel down below. So please make sure you head on over to her channel after you've watched mine to find out five things about her. But yeah, I really struggled with this because to be honest, I think I'm quite boring. I haven't really got um, many interesting things to say about this five things you didn't know about me tag. So yeah, it might not be the most exciting video, but it's my life, so yeah, let's get started. So the first fact about me is that I went to college when I left school to become a travel rep. I did travel and tourism, I did Spanish and French, and yeah, I was all set on becoming a travel rep when I left college, but that never happened. I wanted to pass my driving test, so I ended up working in a factory for two years. And for someone that was like 17 years old or 18 at the time, I'm not sure, working in a factory was like hard work. I used to start work at six in the morning so that meant I had to get up at four o'clock in the morning and yeah it was not nice it was a chicken factory and yeah the amount of times I fainted because we had these massive crates of a liver that I had to like carry from one place to the other scoop all the poisonous bits out and then pop into these like trays and then it would go through the machine but because at the time I was literally like six stone having to get up at four in the morning I fainted like all the time. The amount of times I had to be carried out on a carried out in a wheelchair because I'd fainted was quite funny. So yeah, I didn't end up becoming a travel rep because while I was at the um, chicken factory, we used to go out in town a lot. And fact number two, which relates to the first fact, is that my first two children are not my husband's children. I actually met my ex-partner while I was very young. Um, whilst I was working in the chicken factory and when we used to go out in town all the time I actually met him and yeah that put a stop to any plans of me going abroad and becoming a travel rep and cut a long story short I was with him for 11 years and had two children but then we split up and I met David and then we got married and had Ellie and fun fact number three is that I am really good at trampolining and when I was at college they wanted me to take it further um, but I just didn't want to, I wasn't really interested but yeah my kids love the fact that I can do all sorts of things on a trampoline and yeah that's quite, I don't know if it's quite exciting that I can do all sorts of things on a trampoline but it's just a little random fact there about me. Um, fact number four is that I used to work in a bank and I also used to work in a post office. I also used to work um, as a customer service advisor in an accounts office and a parcel delivery company. And my favorite job I've ever had was working in the post office. But I actually had to leave the post office because I moved house and it would have been too far for me to go to work. But yeah, my best job was working in the post office. I just loved the interaction with all the customers. We got to know everybody and every customer was different. It wasn't just sending parcels. It was doing passports, doing insurances, sorting um, euros out, things like that. It was really, really good. And at the time there was no like sales targets or anything, which just made it absolutely fantastic because I don't really like sales targets or anything, which takes me on to working in a bank. I worked in a very... Um, well-known high street bank there was 24 people at the interview and I was the one that made it so to everyone out there that thinks I'm thick <laughs> I'm not I'm actually quite um, bright bright enough to get a job working in a bank it was a very good role but I left because I had an argument with my boss um, about I cared more about this lady that came in the shop that had just suffered some bad news and she had a lot of money left to her and my boss basically told me that I had to get her in a room, get her to sign up to a certain bank account and basically get her money and I was like no, she's crying, she's in the shop, she doesn't know what the hell to do, the last thing she wants is someone like me badgering her into opening a certain bank account just because we've got sales targets and this ended up with me telling my boss to do one basically and I left so yeah and fact number five 
is that I suffered from hyperemesis when I was pregnant with Ellie, which is my youngest child. My first two children, I never had any morning sickness. I had nothing whatsoever. And I expected the same to happen when I was pregnant with Ellie. But Ellie's father is a different father to my first two children, like I said earlier. And I don't know if it's because it's a different person that I had a baby with or if it was just because I was older or if it was just one of those things. But basically, when I was on my honeymoon, I started to feel really sick and be sick. And when I got back from my honeymoon the next day, I just felt like I just knew something wasn't right. And I went to hospital where I spent nearly a week in hospital on a drip because I was just so dehydrated from all of the being sick and I couldn't even drink water without throwing it back up. Um, and over the first 16 weeks of pregnancy, I was in hospital seven or eight times with dehydration, extreme extreme sickness um like i say i couldn't even drink water i couldn't drink anything without it coming back up and i certainly couldn't eat anything i lost four stone when i was pregnant with ellie and i was on medication for the whole of the pregnancy i was sick throughout the whole of the pregnancy i couldn't get out of bed for 16 weeks my children had to be looked after by somebody else it was absolutely awful and i don't know if i could ever go through that again but I was willing to when I found out I was pregnant three months ago, but unfortunately ended up being an ectopic pregnancy. But I did feel fine during that time when I was pregnant, but I'm not sure if that was because it was ectopic. Maybe I didn't get um, all the same symptoms because it wasn't in the right place. But yeah, the first year of marriage was horrendous and it was all due to carrying a baby, which is now Ellie, who is now nearly 16 months old. But yeah, it was a really, really hard time. I still don't know why I got it, but yeah, it was horrendous. But yeah, that, that's all the five things that I can think of to talk about. I tag anybody that wants to do it because I think most people have done it by now. So if anyone watches my videos that does YouTube and you want to do it, please message me down. Please comment down below and yeah, let me know that you're going to do the tag as well. I hope that was interesting for you. Please don't forget to check out Sammy's channel and I'll see you in my next one. Bye bye.